What up, y'all, and welcome back to the channel, Dap Universal. I'm Dap. So, coming back at you with another pick a card reading, and today we're looking into um, where are they now? And by they, I mean um, your exes, your ex best friends, that kind of thing. Um, now that you're not in their energy, how are they affected by your energy still? So, we're going to take a look at. Um, say maybe the relationship or and with the lessons they've learned since um you've gotten out their energy also maybe the situations that they're going through right now but um i don't really know exactly what else is going to come out after that i haven't really thought that far out um as to what the structure is but i do know i want to say thank you for all um the really really nice uh comments and y'all reaching out and the feedback from the last video um what makes you sexy y'all like that one but y'all did recommend y'all did kind of recommend that one too. But still, I was really kind of blown away about all the nice um, shit y'all was saying about that uh, reading and all the um, subscribers. If you're new here, by the way, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. But make sure to like the video if it resonates. Um, but I did want to get take a second to say thank you so much um, for all the nice words. Um, but anyway, I do want to let you know also that I am taking personal readings you can look in the description for how to do that if you are um if you're interested but without further ado i'll go ahead and get into it we have three piles to pick from and we have pile number one the orange shark pile number two the blue dinosaur and pile number three the pink flamingo that got the starting role in swan lake okay so it's pile number one the orange shark Pile number two, the blue dinosaur with the donut, actually. And pile number three, the pink flamingo that got the starring role in Swan Lake. So go ahead and uh, pause the video if you need to. Check the timestamps below for your readings. And until then, I'll see you in a minute. Bye for now. What up, pile number one, if you chose the orange shark? Welcome to your reading. Um, okay, so we're looking into uh, where are they at now? How does um, how is your person affected by your absence now that you have been gone? It doesn't matter if you broke up with them or they broke up with you or they ghosted you. You ghosted. It doesn't matter. Um, doesn't even matter if you're in, if you're still in contact or not. But the point is, y'all are not the same. You are not as close as you used to be. You're not cool. That's the whole point, right? So um, mainly geared towards people who may not be in contact. When I had him, when I had this reading in mind, but um, off the bat, I feel like um, y'all may be um, yourselves moon ruled people, meaning you may be like a Cancer, any kind of water sign, very emotional people, or heavy on the empathic sign. Um, you may have uh, a lot of Libra or seventh house in your chart, as well as um, Leo, because it's generous. I feel like y'all are the givers um, of the groups, um, meaning that y'all put up with a lot of shit before. <laughs> before calling it quits y'all may not y'all may have really should have called it quits a long time ago but didn't and they ended up um doing it for you meaning like i feel like y'all are the ones that um they kind of stuck it out and they kind of gave up on the on the on the connection or they left you i feel like that's a heavy energy if they left um but it doesn't have to be but just, and also put yourself where you fit in but um, i do see a lot of leo energy and um all any water sign i'm gonna roll the dice to see what their kind of personality is south node in aries in the seventh house that's the thing that you both have in common i feel like y'all you may have like i said you know you may have seventh house placements as well but yours is coming from a place of giving theirs is coming from a place of just needing to be in a relationship like this person may be the type that's every time you turn around they in something new they they can't just be single or they can't just like be cool and like be within themselves and learn from their mistakes or just um be alone this person has like even either abandonment issues or attachment issues to the point where they cannot really cope um so i feel like this is a person that's always like codependent with somebody but um let's see also let's let's pull a card for them as well all right <laughs> new moon and libra no you are loved that's something that they've struggled with um, and they may be actually be a Libra. They may actually be a Libra. I see Leo Aries, but um, they have a tendency to kind of um, form these attachments and these trauma bonds. And I feel like maybe you were going through something when you met this person. So it was just kind of like, you know, wrong place, wrong time kind of shit. 
Um, but I want to pull some love oracles in case this was romantic, because it likely was, to kind of see what the relationship was like before it was over. Woo! All right, so we have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. It started off really good. It started off where everything was perfect. You may have been a, in a really good spot in your life. Um, and so them, so so were they. Y'all could have met at work or something like that. Um, I feel like the money was flowing. It was good. It was like things started off surprisingly and almost like too good. It was like um, it was almost like a fairy tale or something like that. And I had a lot of good memories. I feel like y'all probably traveled. You probably saw parts of the world that you've never seen before with this person. Girl talk. Um, yeah. Uh, with camera because it says reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories i feel like y'all had a you have a lot of memories probably a lot of good memories with this person like it wasn't all bad i feel like y'all were like that couple that did everything together because they y'all were really codependent with each other and um and i'm sure at some point that turned into probably like something toxic like some some jealousy some um really bad triggers like say if, if you, you, they probably got you to the point where like maybe they didn't like your friends or they didn't like that you hung out with certain people or you probably couldn't talk to people who they thought may be into you and even even if you were like friends with that person for a long time it's like they were like no you can't be friends with them because I feel like that, that like like I can't trust them so I can't trust you and like it became really toxic to the point where like um, you probably couldn't even talk to your girlfriends because girlfriend girl talk comes up it's like you probably couldn't talk to your girlfriends or your, or your friends in general without them thinking that you was out cheating on them or something like that or out to replace them so i'm sure eventually you just had to like get out of that situation before it turned um abusive if it wasn't already abusive but i do also want to look at what situations they're gonna be going through now right what situations they may be going through now so I'm trying to think where I want to what, what what cards I want to pull next. Um, I want to pull what what about their shadow side that they have to reconcile with now because because everything's sitting over. What was the point of this relationship on a soul level? Like what 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 in their shadow side or their subconscious are they left to deal with now that it is over? Uh, and also maybe what part of of them in their shadow contributed to this other than the um, the codependency part fragmentation number 27 so i think it goes both ways with fragmentation it's like when you break little pieces of yourself to kind of um to, to, to kind of fit a mold it's like it's like it's it's kind of like giving me the vibes of trying to put a square peg into a round hole or something like that it's like um it's, it's sacrifice to the point where you lose yourself you become a a, a slave to the connection it's like it's like saying if you really like to um say say bake or something like that but and cook like that's your passion you love to cook all kinds of stuff pork fish chicken like bake like cakes and cheesecakes or whatever and like this person and, and take it out or vice versa was like say lactose intolerant or completely vegan or like on some really crazy diet that they chose to be on and then all of a sudden you couldn't cook anything like that you couldn't even eat that stuff either it's like saying you lose part of yourself um when you get into that kind of situation and it's like they they had to lose themselves too um, you may be life path number nine. They may be life path number nine, two or seven. Um, it could also be a Taurus. <laughs> Cause I'm looking at the, the actual symbol, the crescent moon over her head looks, gives, it gives me vibes like Taurus, but, um, it was becoming a slave to the relationship. So it's like they, the pieces they have to pick up now is the pieces of themselves. It's like trying to find the little, like, I don't think they have a really strong sense of self. They may be the type of person that kind of. For them, at least, they may mold themselves to the person that they're with because they don't have enough time with themselves. They don't know themselves enough. So it's like every time they get with somebody, they become a different version of themselves. And then when they break up, they get lost and don't know who the fuck they are, what their values are. That's why they have to be in a relationship because they don't know who they are. They need someone to tell them, who are you? You know? That's interesting. Um, what's a life lesson that they've that they have to learn since they've been with you what's a, a life lesson just whatever you show what did you, what did you teach them what did your soul teach them um, from the connection and this is like a general positive thing humor with you they learned the lesson of humor I choose to focus on the lighter side of life you showed them a really good time you showed them how to relax you showed them how to breathe and take it easy you showed them that they were 
um, that life wasn't so such a big deal. Like like things don't have to be life and death. Like you you ease their anxiety a lot of the times. You made them feel like <sighs> for some of y'all, you gave them a reason to live. Like when you might have met this person, they were really depressed. They may be really up and down. Maybe have mental health issues. I'm kind of getting like really unstable type people. Um, and you maybe they were like had a hard childhood or something where they didn't feel very loved maybe they were neglected in some kind of ways and you kind of swooped in and kind of showed this person hey yeah you're worth it you are worth it uh, you are loved and i love everything about you but now i feel like they really do feel that because um what they're going through now is the five of cups this is sadness they, they like beating themselves up over over the stuff they, they they're mad at themselves over the times that they treated you poorly um, the times that they cried over spilt milk when they like made a mountain over a, a, out of a molehill when there was no reason to. I feel like they were really dramatic in this in the situation, and it was for no reason. It's like you could have kept me, you could have had me if you just wouldn't just freak out all the time, accuse me of the worst. It's like then it and then it turned to control. It literally turned to control. I didn't notice this, but there was a shark in this. Like they thought strength was was wrestling this shark thing. And, and, and prying his mouth open, that's not the real message of strength. Strength is, is being gentle with the lion and, and, and make it feel like it's a kid so it wants to like um, cooperate, it wants to open his mouth, it doesn't want to hurt you. Like he, he, This person thought that strength was force and they had to learn that the hard way. I think they're still learning that. But I feel like this person's really depressed and they feel like they were a lot better off when they was with you. They feel like they was a lot better off when they were with you. But I do want to read you some um, uh, what's in the shadows, what's left unsaid, especially if you're not in communication about how they really feel on a subconscious level. Like maybe if they were to talk to you, like honestly, and tell you how they felt about the situation since you've been gone. I am different now. Yeah, because they probably with somebody else and, and took on their personality. For some of y'all, I am different now. But for everybody, I do think they do kind of regret it. I think they do regret it. I think they are sad about the fact that they don't have you in their life anymore like that. And they wish they can go back and do and do things over. I pretend that you don't mean that much. Absolutely. I pretend that you don't mean that much. You are everything to this person. I hope you're happy. Because I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, well... You wanted to know, so uh, yeah, sound off in the comments. Let me know how this resonated. Is who is this person? A friend? A lover? What happened? Um, I'm all ears, but um, yeah. Until next time, guys. If you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What a pile number two. If you chose the blue dinosaur with a donut, welcome to your reading. And uh, we're looking at where they are, where they at now. Now that you've gone, now that it's over, how are they feeling? Your absence? Um, are they regretting it? Do they give a fuck? Let's let's let's, let's take a look. Uh, but first things first, I feel like my pile number twos, um, y'all are a different breed. <laughs> y'all are a very well balanced group. I feel like um, I think you may be uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. It's somebody with a lot of depth in the sense of like. You're very intelligent people. It's like nothing really escapes you. And it's like, it's almost to the point where like, I'm sure you're intuitive, yes, but it comes out as more like perceptive. It's it's, it's smart. It's, it's more like a learned behavior. It's, it's almost like scary if you were to find, if, if we were to find you in, say, um, I, let me just say this. I wouldn't want to be your enemy. I would not want to be somebody on your bad side because you can be downright terrifying. <laughs> When you when when you get enraged, you you the links that you can go to to really fuck somebody's life up if you really wanted to is scary. I think you choose not to, but um, some of your y'all have dark thoughts. Also, you maybe moon ruled people. You could be Pisces as well, Cancer. But like, I feel like y'all are, are like my darker, uh, <laughs> my darker pile. Which means that you've been through some shit. It means that you've been through some shit or you've seen some shit. But um. You make it known that you are not one to really mess with. Mm -hmm. But I do want to get an idea of who your person is. Alright, I also see Sun and Sagittarius in the fifth house. This is a fuckboy. 
<laughs> or a fuck girl. <laughs> this is a fuck boy. What I mean by that, this is somebody who literally is like player energy. They may come across as like just passionate, fun people who are optimistic. They have a they have a good personality about themselves. They seem to be really optimistic and happy go lucky. This thing that really drawn drew you to them. They may really have a, a certain light about them too. I don't see the, I don't see them as like as like a, a narcissist per se, but I do see them as somebody who really likes freedom and pleasure. They and that's maybe where y'all kind of connected. Maybe y'all had a real, real good sex life. Um, maybe even after it was over, y'all was still having sex. <laughs> or like y'all were the type of people that like bonded through um through like leisure or like just hanging out kind of thing. This could have been a situation ship for a lot of y'all. Also, it's, it gives me vibes of like maybe you met this person on like a hookup app or like you met this person at the bar and like took them home and didn't it didn't plan on anything and they just kind of stayed or some shit. <laughs> but this person really does give me like um, real cool, fun vibes, but they just wouldn't commit or they just like wouldn't be serious. And it's like, OK, I'm growing up, but you're like staying perpetually the same. And it's I outgrew you. It's kind of what I'm getting. We outgrew each other. Like this person's really immature. But um, let me see if I can pull one of these moon cards to see what else I can pull out their personality or, or like their way of being in the relationship or just in general. What's this? Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is a person that may be, they may have a good job or something about their work ethic is, is rather good. But it's like they, they may work hard but play hard. Also, this person may just have have the qualities of like, say, somebody who is very driven for what they want. It's like when they are persistent about something, they are just hell bent for better, or for worse. If it's something darker than that, they may be like you tell them, no, it ain't over till I say it's over type shit. Or like a person who has a hard time being told no. And somebody who's also very good at telling a lie. Like they'll, they'll tell you the most outlandish, believable lies. And um, that's. Like if they, especially if they find if they find themselves to be threatened or or like, inst like in a moment of crisis because of their own doing, like you didn't pay your bills, therefore they gonna shut the lights off. Oh my auntie done died, and they're like I don't, I, I didn't did it, did it, did it. like they just just dispelling out stuff. You sitting there like, what the hell? How did you even come up with that so quick? Like master manipulators is what I'm getting. It's, but usually when they feel threatened or. Usually when they really, really trying to get what they want, because like I said, this person's not used to saying, hearing no. So they may be really good at negotiations. They may have like the gift of gab, like, like a salesperson almost. Like they're really good at that. They may work in sales. Um, goddamn, you may actually met this person at their job or something like that, or like you may be, they, they give me vibes of like um, somebody that whatever they whatever field they work in. It may be a little bit unethical to you or like or how they do it may be unethical for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting like unethical. But anywho, <clears throat> I digress. I do want to look at, say, honing on the relationship. So what part of the connection since you've been gone, have they have to kind of reson uh, reconcile with in themselves, like the shadow aspect of it or like what part of them, what dark part of themselves have uh, led up to the um, to the breakup or the separation? on the floor well this is this one if I gotta bend over and get it then it's yours if I gotta work that hard to pick it up you wanted it um I have number what is this 24 queen of my world so this person was like it's all about me everything is about me it's like and it's like I don't even think they're like so much of a narcissist maybe they are maybe they're really self-centered maybe some of them are narcissists but I really feel like they're just self-focused or self-centered I feel like they like a lot of attention and I also feel like when, when you first met they may have treated you like queen of my world it's like it started off kind of like oh I'm this person's everything oh my god they're just showering me with attention and somehow they just slowly but surely shifted that over to themselves it's like you know what I don't think you're worth it you know you see this crown I think it looks better on me give it back plop and like started treating you like the the ugly stepsister or like or like the servant or something in the house or like you know it's like they 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 they, they switched the flip they flipped the uh, they flipped the switch on that ass <laughs> and they ended up being um the one that they expect to be showered with attention and affection when it in the beginning they presented it as if you were um 
were, were, were the center of their universe. But it was a ruse. Um, hmm. Let's see what in the aftermath, what's the life lesson that you kind of um, that you kind of came in to teach them on a soul level? If we talk about like karmic situations uh, on a soul level, what was the point of the connection uh, for them? Something that you gave to them, a lesson that they needed to learn. We have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. For some of y'all, y'all made them have to um, make a choice. Maybe you gave them, this person an ultimatum. It's like, look, grow up or I'm gone. It's like, or, or they got you in a third party situation. I'm tired of this. Who you gonna pick? It's gonna be me or them. Are you ever gonna like grow? Are you ever gonna do that? It's like, it's like, it feels like they had to come face to face with a situation that they had been prolonging, been um, deflecting. What's another word? Um, I feel like they, 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 they be the type that you ask them, can, can you please do, do this? Can you please break up with this person if you're gonna be with me? Are, are, like, are you, can you get serious? Can you commit to me? It's like you gave them an ultimatum and they're like, yeah, just give me a minute. Like, just, just okay, after, I, after, after this specific period of time, then I'll be able to, and then time just never came. It's like they kept prolonging it and prolonging it. And so eventually it's like, okay, well, I see you just wanna be in a relationship with your damn self because I'm gone. That kind of energy. They, they just would not do what you wanted them to do. They just would not do what you wanted them to do. Let's pull some love work. We'll see what uh, the relationship was like. Separation. It was on again, off again for a lot of y'all. Stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Yeah, it feels like maybe because of, of, of a lack of security, a lack of that, um, that being able to predict what's going to happen next or like there was no sense of um of of growth there was no sense of um of understanding of where this could actually go uh it, it was unpredictable it was unstable so therefore we had to end it it was it, there was no future it's like i'm unsure that it went from i'm unsure of the future of where we're gonna go to like i'm positive there is no future here i'm positive that there is no future um they could not get it together uh, and where they at right now in the aftermath, the will of fortune, they feel pretty much like another day, another dollar. It's like, I don't feel like they are remorseful so much. I don't feel like they really feel the heat of it all. I think they just kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So maybe they are kind of narcissistic. Um, cause, and also I see them as emotionally manipulative. They may still be trying to get with you. You may still be having sex with this person too. You may be still kind of sleeping around with this person. Some of y'all still in bed, but they don't, they don't miss you because you still, you still sleeping with the enemy. But they emotionally manipulate you in a sense with the King of Cups in reverse. Could be Scorpio. You could be too. Take it how it resonates. But I see Sagittarius in the Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio in the King of Cups. But they, they say what they need to say. They, they, they bring up certain memories. They make you feel nostalgic just so they can get what they want. So they don't really. So they still haven't learned a lesson for a lot of y'all. And for others where that doesn't resonate, guess what? They just found another fool. They just found another fool. Someone who will put up with their shit for another few minutes. And then they just keep it moving. They're not trying to settle down. They feel like they have they have options. So this person is perpetually, perpetually a fuckboy. Jesus. All right, but let's pull some um, some love oracles in the shadows cards to see what's that was left unsaid. How they really feel on a subconscious level. What's what's going on? If they were to talk to you and tell you the truth, how would they feel? I've been struggling. I've been struggling. I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you. And I love myself enough to walk away. Yeah, we know you love yourself a lot. We know you do. Um, that's all I got for you. Tell us in the comments let me know how this resonated. Um, I would love to know. But um, yeah, until next time, guys, just remember this. If you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. What up pile number three? If you chose this lovely pink flamingo that landed the starring role in Swan Lake for some reason, welcome to your read. I'm talking about what is the aftermath of this person that you were talking to, dating, friends with, whatever, um, now that it's over. Since you've been gone, what they've been up to? kind of stuff like 
just a just a peep into this person in their life and um and maybe the the karmic lesson that 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 came from the relationship on a soul level um their toxic tendencies that kind of got them to where they are now um but anyway i feel like y'all are very maybe piscean kind of uh maybe pisces uh, type people uh libra aquarius comes to mind um capricorn any of those places especially like neptune um say um in the first house or pisces risings um aquarius libra that it gives me those kind of vibes somebody who um is very deep somebody who is very more so either really really imaginative or emotional but also has good logic you're both you're the best of both worlds you're somebody who can actually feel very deeply but you can also think very deep like and when i say think more so in imagination like in like like a higher perspective you may be my spiritual pile like the impasse but not just impasse but almost like mystic you have a certain mystical kind of energy like where you just kind of feel your way through things in relationships um but it doesn't mean that you're weak it doesn't mean that you're naive though it means that you may be a very old soul you may be like a life path number um a life path number one nine a master number especially i can see i've been master numbers 11 22 33 but um let's see what your who your partner is or your ex is or whatever all right they also have neptune energy so they could also be pisces i see the 12th house and also see libra so this was okay so although you're not very naive i feel like the relationship was very much an illusion like romantic illusions like it was lost in a fantasy i'm hearing that um that mariah carey song fantasy now um but it's like there was something very much off about it but you both were willing participants to kind of get lost in the sauce it's almost like you were in your own world with this person y'all y'all really manufactured these ideals and and, and then like there was something very hidden about it too like secrets like things it's like things may have came to light where you were just like what the hell like i'm shocked and appalled oh my god who are you i don't even know you type of stuff it's like this person like was 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 wearing a, a, a serious mask and maybe not and maybe they would say the same thing about you it's like i think y'all both projected what you really wanted onto each other and just ran with it um it's kind of the vibes i'm getting for real for real for real side note this person may also be like or you may also have had to go to counseling over this person um, or, or like maybe one of y'all work in a hospital or something like that or like heavy y'all either contemplated going to counseling about this person should go to counseling about this person or have gone to counseling because of this person maybe this person was mentally unstable um <laughs> i can see this person being a little bit uh nuts <laughs> a little bit um emotionally uh somewhere else like I, I i don't know if this person was was like dangerous or some shit like i don't know but i'm getting really weird vibes i'm getting really weird vibes from coming from them like they were not who they who they portrayed themselves to be and they may have tricked you through the whole damn thing like like the, oh now i get it like that flamingo who thinks it's a swan that you ain't no damn swan you a flamingo like yeah it's like that energy okay that's interesting I'm going to pull one of these uh, one of these moonology cards to see what else um, is in their energy or, or their personality. Full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions. Things were really dramatic. They may have been really impulsive. They may have been a uh, version on, on violent for some of y'all. Like, like, like it may have been scary when they got themselves worked up and they may have gotten worked up all the time or blow up and just lose control of themselves they did not have very good control over their emotions is what i'm getting they they and, and some of the, the things they would get worked up on wasn't even like real it was their imagination like accusing you of stuff that you didn't even do people like it's crazy let me see some more about the relationship with these love oracles what else was going on Ooh wedding ring some of y'all were married or they may have proposed to you um union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise they may have actually been married and you didn't know or some crazy shit like that maybe you did i don't know what else we got i like you so how we go from wedding rings to i like you they could have been married and you didn't know or they could have actually been in a whole nother relationship living a whole nother life like kind of stuff maybe not even married but like having two relationships but you didn't even know 
and the other person didn't even know either. They was just like two different personas or something like that. It's crazy. And then I see heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, morning. And when everything hit the fan, it broke, it tore you to pieces because you didn't even, you didn't even see it coming almost. It's like, you, it's like you got some red flags, but it's like, damn, how could I expect this though? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really like, who is this? It's like how you're saying, that's crazy. None of the piles came out like this. That's crazy. Let's see what, um, what's in their shadow. Like when I say that their shadow, like what 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 part of their subconscious um, affected this relationship? Like their their shadow side, their dark side, and maybe what had to what what part of their shadow um, led to the breakup? Woo. It's this whatever like landed on the table. I give you this colorless angel, colorless angel. Yeah, this could have definitely been somebody who was not all there. And I don't think they saw themselves as, as the problem. I don't think they saw themselves as the problem. Like if you would ask, I was perfect. I was everything. I gave you everything. I'm the one that's being abused. I'm the one that's being taken advantage of. I'm the one. It's like they, they looked at themselves like I was the one that was drained. They took advantage of me. They, they let them tell the story and you'd be like, who are you talking about? Cause I know that ain't me. That, none of that happened. Like this person is delusional. This person is delusional. All right. So what brought y'all together? What was the lesson here that they needed to learn? What was the lesson that they needed to learn on a soul level from being with you? Because it goes both ways. They taught you something, you taught and, and you taught them something. But we're focusing on we're focusing on them. You have pride. I love myself and see myself in everyone. Their ego was so strong. Their ego was so strong that it could not be shaken. It's like they could not come to terms with their own bullshit. Like saying they were the ones that couldn't say sorry. If they did say sorry, it's like, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. But if you would, it wouldn't have done this to me, it's like they couldn't just give you an apology without saying, but, but if you wouldn't have, but you made me or like, it's like, the, it's, it's like, it's like, what? It's like, that's not an apology. Just apologize. It's like they could not take accountability for anything. Their ego was so fragile they could not take ability accountability for anything. They, they even if they wanted to, they could. They, they they could not just just sit in their own um, their own fuck ups. They could not. They could not just 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 even reconcile with that. They couldn't even simply say I'm sorry sometimes. And that's a dangerous red flag. This person was delusional. They they could. It's almost giving me the feeling the the vibes of like what is it called? borderline personality disorder kind of shit like like arrested development like they, they this person threw tantrums and they could not they could not cope with the fact that they were the problem or that they had an issue and it made them feel guilty and it festered and it, and it turned into more issues and and it just got bigger than you could even handle probably um where are they at now the ace of cups in reverse they feel very disconnected from themselves they may also be Battling some mental health issues as well, emotional health issues as well. Uh, depression comes to mind. It's like they're all consumed in their own cup. Look, look at this girl. She's like, it's almost like she's getting drunk off her own emotions, her own like psyche. Almost, it's almost, it's like, it's like in a reverse. It's like it's twisted. This is it, it, upright. This card is about self love and and connectedness and and understanding yourself and intuition. But in reverse. It's like, it's a twisted version of that. It's just playing the victim almost. It's like, it's, 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 it's self, it's self-fulfilled. It's, it's not narcissistic because it takes a certain level of maliciousness in narcissism. This person is just sick. <laughs> this person just needs help. Um, they just, they don't, they don't, under, they don't see it. They don't understand it. And it's not that they lack empathy. They have a lot of empathy for themselves, <laughs> but they, but they, I guess that wouldn't be empathy. Um, it's not that they lack empathy per se, but I think they do lack a certain amount of being able to fully see a situation for the truth. It's like they live in their own world. And they also have the Queen of Cups in reverse. The person is unstable. This person is unstable. And I do feel like 
They're the type of people that paint people black or white. It's like they'll idealize them and be like, you're the, you're everything. You're everything to me. Like, you're my heart. You're wonderful. I love you. They probably said I love you way too soon kind of stuff. And it's like, and then at the drop of a hat, it's like, I hate you. You're a dirty piece. They'll start like, cut like, like, like you just the worst thing ever t talking bad about you to their friends. They like trying to like publicly embarrass you. It's like, this person had real problems. And I'm so glad you got out of this. I hope you got out of this. But this person needs help. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I and mean, this doesn't resonate. This was wasn't for you. I know this ain't be for everybody, but this person needs some help. Um, some serious help. I'm gonna pull um some what's left unsaid, like what's really going on in they, in they subconscious, like things that they wouldn't tell you, but 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 how they really feel in the in the shadows oracle for pile number three. Now that they gone. Thank you for leaving me. Thank you for leaving. It's so Thank you for leaving me. It's so petty. I feel like the way they said it, the, the context is still like so petty. It's almost like, poor me. I want to tell you so much. Yeah, but I bet that ass is blocked though, isn't it? But, but you can't. I hope, but you can't. I want to tell you so much. Please, no. Don't, don't, don't get a restraining order on that ass. Don't make me call the authorities on that ass. Uh-uh. Leaving you hurt me too. Shut up. Sound off in the comments let me know how this bullshit resonated. If it resonated, what is this? Just, just, just tell me what this is. Make it make sense, please. But until next time, guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings. All we do. Bye.